Good morning. Um, yes, some of the headlines back of the starring big capitals. Crazy is the headline. Pep Guardiola believes the crazy schedule of a World Cup winter could see players dropping like flies at the end of the, the Premier League season. Um, elsewhere, there's some fallout to the game last night. You mentioned there, Laura, earlier. Everton getting hammered by Bournemouth. The Times say Lampard left humiliated by Bournemouth's defeat. Adrian Kajumba says in the mail, Franken firing line pressure on Lampard as Everton are humiliated. Um, but a story that I think we both um, looked at each other, didn't we, when we saw this this morning on the the back of the sun, some sad oh, news no. that Martin Lipton uh, says this morning, Rhys James has been given the devastating news by England that his World Cup dream is over. The right back was desperate to make Southgate squad for Qatar despite last month's knee injury. Your positive scan yesterday increased the defender's belief he could be back for the knockout stages and James ran on grass at Chelsea's base for the first time since his operation. But Southgate, according to the Sun, rang the Blues ace to deliver the bad news in person, telling him he could not afford to take a risk on his fitness. Um, Ali, I'm sure in sporting terms, uh, for a manager and for a player, there's no worse phone calls to get, is there? Just what, a week before the World Cup? My yeah. heart goes out to Rhys James. 100%. Sam, he'll be, he'll be devastated because he'd have been hanging on to that hope. No doubt about it. He'd have been hanging on to that hope, that little glimmer of hope that we'd had that he'd have been fit for certainly the last stages of the tournament. Um, and it's not to be Real blow for him. Real, real blow for him. I understand the decision that, that Gareth's made. I get that totally and understand it totally. Maybe he thinks the Gareth would obviously evaluated the, the, the injury and time scales and all that stuff and he, he obviously thinks it's too much of a gamble, mm. which I understand totally. But, oh, really sad for Reese James because he'd have started, make no mistake about it, he'd have started that England team. I know you can't. I know I know it's <clears> a real <throat> gamble and things like that to bring players that are unfit, but uh, I don't know, I just, in my head, I'm thinking because it's Reese James and because he is that good, I almost so thought, I think. I thought they'd yeah. bring and him... And it's a slightly bigger squad than normal competition yeah. being yeah. 26, not 23. And, but... and also because, like, because you've got players that can deputise and centre back and you can kind of like a lot of those those players in defence are a bit fluid like that mm. I almost thought oh I don't know I just I No just I'm ashamed I'm yeah. ashamed I, I, I really am because I, I think it was interesting talking to Eddie Jones yesterday if the players got something different then you maybe take the gamble you know what I mean if you can replace the player with like for like mm. then you obviously wouldn't if the players get something different, I think Reese James has got something different. I really do. Mm. But obviously, we are not privy to the extent of the seriousness of mm. the injury. Um, and Gareth feels it's not worth mm. a, a gamble. Mm. That's what, yeah, Martin Lipton, this, that's his piece on the on the back of the sun this morning. Another story back of the sun. Uh, Gareth Bale's golf days are out of bounds at the World Cup. Wales boss Robert Page, <laughs> swung by Doha Golf Club during a Qatar recce in June to tee up a round for his squad. But Page says now 18 holes in their downtime is off limits due to the demands the finals will bring for golfer Nut Bale and his teammates. Page has said, we had a round of golf plans. I went to the Doha Club. It's run by a British lad. He says, I'll book you a time, but it gets dark at around four o'clock. <laughs> we looked at it, but there are other functions we might have to do. So we'll probably not get the chance to do it. I uh, imagine Gareth Bale, no Ali, is absolutely no, no raging, chance. isn't he? What's the point in going I'm if gonna, you can't play golf in Qatar, right? See when I go, I'm going to monitor that goal golf course at night and I'll bet you any money I can see maybe two in the morning I will see somebody walking around that course with a Davy <laughs> lamp with the old miner's helmet and a set of clubs and I'll just hang it on my balcony and shoot Gareth and I'll bet he gives me a thumbs up someone told me there's I'll only I'll bet you any money he's out two in the morning Davy lamp nine iron job done there's only two golf courses in Qatar is that right did you just say that or did I get that from somewhere else? Somewhere else. Good, okay, fine. I, thought, I was like, please tell me he didn't just say that and I wasn't listening. But yeah, I read somewhere that there's only two golf courses in, in Qatar, so it's going to be very busy. So I think mm. that's another reason why they're trying to keep um, the footballers away from it. Yeah. Because it'll be full of all the old pros, won't it? Sorry, Absolutely. former pros. Yes. Apologies. Talk Sport Breakfast with Laura Woods. Monday to Wednesday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.